Okay, I think this is gonna be a weird one. Yep, story checks out. So, this is the Gakken Pocket Miku. I ordered it for $75 a few weeks ago, and it just arrived from Japan. So, I should probably explain. The Pocket Miku is based on a unique synthesis technology developed by Yamaha called Vocaloid. A company called Krypton Future Media has developed this anime character, Hatsune Miku. She's a fictional character, but this is supposed to be the sound of her voice singing. It comes with a sheet of instructions, but of course it's all in Japanese. I'm trying to make this video quickly, so I don't have time to reach out to a Japanese speaker to translate. So instead, let's just hit some buttons. Okay, so the buttons are labeled with different vowel sounds. And I'm noticing when I hit the buttons, she's no longer singing different words. She's just singing vowel sounds now. Okay, now let's see what the shift button does. I'm going to hold shift and press A. Okay, so it seems that when you hold shift and press a button, it switches back into syllables mode. Because I don't speak Japanese, I don't know what she's actually saying, but she is singing actual syllables, actual words. This is pretty cool. I'm noticing it has a USB port, so I'm going to try that out now. I'm also going to grab a MIDI controller and plug that into the computer as well. Basically, I want to see if I can play the Pocket Miku using a conventional piano keyboard. That works really well. Okay, I'm going to write a little backing track in Ableton Live, and then we can see how the Pocket Miku sounds in context. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. As you can hear, it's pretty basic. I've got this classic new wave bass line. And then I've got this repeated pattern on top of it, just to give it a little more texture. That's it. Okay, now let's record a melody using the Pocket Miku. Okay, it's kind of cool. It sounds like a singing robot. I like that every time she repeats the phrase, she's singing different syllables. I think the biggest hurdle is that in the current mode, she's switching syllables every note. Some syllables take way longer to start than others, which means you would actually have to know which syllable was coming next and start some notes early in order to get them to all line up correctly. Okay, next experiment. A couple of videos ago, I showed off this really unique pedal called the Microcosm. It's a combined reverb and delay pedal with all of these weird algorithms built in. I'm really eager to see how the Pocket Miku will fare when I put it through that pedal. Let's give it a spin. Let's turn the mix knob up. Okay, so this is actually really cool. It sounds really unique. I, I don't think I actually own anything else that can produce these sounds. Let's try switching algorithms. Whoa. Okay, I'm definitely going to make a sample library out of this. So the Vocaloid technology on which this little device was based was developed by Yamaha, and Yamaha actually has a commercial software package called Vocaloid 5 that features a whole range of singers, including some that are actually designed for singing in English as well. Also, I've done some research, and it seems that there's a whole world of software tools that exist only to let you manipulate this little device. You can change hidden settings, and more importantly, you can actually tell it which syllables to sing. 
All the tools I've found so far are in Japanese, but nonetheless, I'm going to try to dig a little deeper into these in the coming weeks. If you enjoyed this video, now is a great time to subscribe. It's free and you'll be notified anytime I make one of these videos. Also, make sure to hit the bell because otherwise you won't be notified. Also, I've sampled the way this thing sounds through the microcosm and turned it into a decent sampler sample library. I think it's a really unique and very useful instrument, especially for futuristic sci-fi sounding compositions. That sample library is available to patrons. The Patreon is $5, and at the end of every month, you get an exclusive sample library. Also, if you sign up, you can download all of the old exclusive sample libraries as well. Okay, I think that's it. See you soon.